of their friends and all and friends and lovers of freedom all over the world good morning good afternoon good evening and good night to some of you depending on your time zone and your geographical space my name is Mazi Victor and I welcome you to Sunrise Daily News Analysis of course this program is designed to bring you the in-depth analysis of what is happening in this very geographical place called Nigeria and also I am not alone in the studio today I have Mazi Oge okay, Friday with me in the studio. Mazi Oge okay, Friday, good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, how are you doing? I'm okay. Please, can you say hello to the Bia fans watching you all over the world? Bia fans all over the world, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on wherever you are, domiciled all over the world. All right, thank so you very much. From here. Thank you. All right, uh, of course, I will also be having Mazi Evis, who is standing by to also uh, analyze from his own end. Of course, uh, we are here to expose the lies of the zoo. That is what we are here to do. That is our duty, to make the world see the truth from our own side of the story. Because if we don't tell our story, nobody else will tell the story for us. So that is why we are here all the time to bring you the in-depth analysis and to analyze things exactly the way it is and for the truth to be made established for the world to see and to understand the truth. Of course, you can do good to share our program in all your social media spaces. We are on Periscope, we are on YouTube, we are on Skype, we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, we are on WhatsApp. Also, you can log on to our website, which is www.biafratv.co uh, uh, to also get hooked up with us. And also, we are transmitting on Radio Biafra London concurrently. And uh, in case you don't have uh, any means to watch us live and direct, you can do good to use your local devices to listen. And make sure you call, you don't listen alone. Call your friends, your well-wishers, all the lovers of freedom that is scattered all over the world and also in Biafra land and in other places of the world. Bring them close so that they can come close and listen to the gospel of truth because we are here to expose the lies of the zoo and to tell you the gospel truth as it is. No missing of word, no hiding of the truth, no painting words. We are saying it the raw the way it is coming out. And also do good to call even the enemies, the critics, to also come close and listen to this very gospel of truth. Of course, uh, today we have some issues we are going to be looking at. And uh, Mazi Oge Friday and uh, also our brother Mazi Evis will be educating us and be analyzing, telling our people what they are supposed to, you know, know um, based on what is on ground. Of course, uh, uh, do good to share the program in every shareable space. Make sure you inform everyone around you to come close and listen to Radio Biafra uh, London in order to get the gospel of truth. All right, once again, Mazi Oga Friday, I welcome you to today's program. Thank you very much. All right, uh, um, before we go ahead, I would like to, uh, you know, read. Uh, we have a lot of reports here, but I'll just read the letters happening and uh, from there we will analyze. Um, this one goes like this. Uh, the happening in Lagos, it goes like this. The entire trade fair complex of uh, Lagos State has been shut down by the government. The trade fair complex is a major business hub of the Igbos traders in Lagos State. All the Igbo business has so far been locked down. And some speculations has it that this is simply as a result of the fact that the Igbos voted against the APC in the just concluded sham called election that took place lately. Also, we have uh, uh, this reaction uh, by uh, one of our, uh, you know, senators, uh, uh, who goes by the name Dino Milei. Senator Dino Milei has alerted the global community on quotes below. He said, "Hope the world is watching." Tinubu and his Yoruba brothers provoking the Igbos continuously. Let the world bear them witness now that they, the Yorubas elite, are provoking them for no reason. We all knew that the Yorubas cannot stand the Igbos if this rain begins to fall, but nobody will rise up to condemn this dastardly, unbearable attitude by the Yorubas. Let my fellow co colleagues and other parts of the Nigerian government rise up against this discriminative decision by Tinubu and Yoruba allies against the Igbos. I urge the Igbos to remain unarmed and never to strike back. According to him, he said, I have never seen the Igbos driving any tribe up and down in their land like this being done to them. Rather, they travel to develop other places of, the very, of this very nation with uh, my power as the current senator of Kogi West, I urge the federal government of Nigeria to look into this matter before it's, it is too late. 
all right uh, Marcy, um okay friday i come to you you know from this very uh, 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 thing i've read out yeah. what, what would you make of it yes um our leader have rightly said before now that a time will come when the Igbos in Lagos and other places in Nigeria will be rejected by the people that owns the land. And many of our people failed to understand this. And today it is happening. Our people in Lagos are being chased from one place to another by the indigenous of Yoruba who claim the ownership of Lagos. They are now telling our people that Lagos is not their indigenous home, is not their ancestral home, that they should go back to their land. And uh, Dino Melaye on the other side is uh, speaking out to the injustice meted upon the Biafran people in Lagos. Of course, he has been on the side of uh, justice to reign. Dino Melaye, we have been watching closely how our spoken has been for a few years now, speaking for the interest of the marginalized people, not just the Biafran people, but the entire indigenous of this contraption called Nigeria. But we've noticed how people try to silence him. Those who claim the ownership of Nigeria, the Kabas, we have come to know of all that he has been going through because of his outspokenness, because he stands to speak for the people who cannot speak for themselves. So what Dino Melaya is doing is a good example of good representative. Ambassadors are sent to go and represent their people. But quite unfortunate, some who go to represent our people from Biafran region, they find it very difficult to do what Dino Melaya is doing. Many of them have not come up either on the faces of the uh, newspaper or on any media to condemn what the Nigerian government and our citizens are doing to be friends. Why? Because right, thank you very much, uh, Mazi Ogo Friday. Um, thank you. I appreciate you for that, your wonderful submission. But uh, come to think of it, uh, you know, apart from coming out to condemn what the Yorubas are doing to the Igbos, do you think is the uh, right thing or the lawful thing for them to, you know? Uh, to treat Igbos in that very context, the way they have been treated? Is it, is it their right to do so? Are they really the true owners of the land? And if, even if they are, are they supposed to treat the Igbos the way they are treating them now, by confiscating their properties and shutting down their means of livelihood? Do you think is the right thing? Are they being treated fairly? No, not at all. There's nobody on earth who would say that where I domicile now or where I live or where I reside I'm the only person that is going to live here Nigeria they say is a multi ethnic religious con uh, nation and the British knew this when they came that Nigeria are made up of so many tribes and for the Igbos to go to Lagos for their business, for their trade, for their buying and selling, which we are known for, does not call for marginalization, does not call for rejection. And they do this because the Igbos thrive more than every other tribes in Nigeria, in the, the contraption called Nigeria. So, no same man, man will, will come up to you know give kudos to the people who are oppressing the evils what they are doing to our people the Biafran people 
in Lagos and in other parts of the country called Nigeria, which they say we have equal right, is not a welcomed issue at all. It's something that humanity need to stand up to condemn. Not nobody will ever welcome it at all. It is not right what they are doing to our people. So it is only our people who is going to make this, you know, a history. They are the only people that have all it takes to change this. And I wish they begin to understand the handwritings on the wall, knowing it fully well that they are no longer welcomed anywhere. I saw a video yesterday online about a man speaking to the media that what a uh, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra from Azana Mekano said some years ago has come to fulfillment that the Igbos are being rejected in Lagos. It's still the Igbos that are speaking this or saying this. But for them to rise up and do the needful becomes a very big problem to them. What is stopping the Igbos in Lagos to organize themselves in a magnanimous manner and say, enough of this. Let us do something. Fight for our rights. Let us join our brethren back home, all over the world, the indigenous people of Biafra, led by Inam Dekano, to fight for our right. Knowing it fully well that we are fully rejected in this region. All right. Thank you very much, Mazega Friday. Seems like we have Mazi Evis, who has just joined us. Uh, all right, Mazi Evis, I welcome you to the program. Mazi Evis, good morning. My brother, Victor Onido. How are you doing? Uh, um... As you can see, um, the rising of the sun has risen upon our life, and Biafra is here with us. So I ordered Biafra to listen to us and um, be educated this morning once. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, you had the topic we have been discussing. And uh, before we go further in discussing uh, much or uh, making much analysis of this very topic, I want to also uh, I want us to look at uh, a, a, a statement that was credited to Sanesu uh, Lamido, the current Emir of uh, Kano State, who has something to say about uh, the Eurobas. Uh, let me read it out. You say, practically every crisis in Nigeria since independence has its root from the Eurobas. Sanusi Lamido, Sanusi. The Yoruba allies were the first in 1962 to attempt a violent overthrow of an elected government in this very country. Sanusi Lamido is what he said. When Buhari J, the UPN governor, like Ige and Onabanjo, the southwestern press castigated that good government and provided the right mood for IBB to take over power as soon as IBB declared UPN governors of charges against them in a politically motivated retriever. He became the darling of the southwest. When IBB annulled the primaries in which Adamusi Roma and Shehu Yaradua emerged as presidential candidates in the NRC and SDP, he was hailed by the southwest. When the same man annulled the June 12, 1993 election in which Abiola was the front runner, the southwest now become the defenders of the democracy. When it seems Sani Abacha was sympathetic to Abiola, the southwest supported uh, his takeover. He was in fact invited by the by a prominent Nadeko member to take over in a published letter shortly before the event. Even though Abiola had won the election in the North, the North was blamed for its annulment. When Abdul Salam Abubakar started his transition, the Yoruba politicians, political leadership through Nadeko presented a memorandum on a government of uh, national unity that showed complete disrespect for the intelligence and uh, liberties of other Nigerians. Subsequently, they formed a tribal party which failed to meet minimum requirements for registration, but was registered all the same to avoid the violence that was bound to follow no registration, given the area boy mentality of the Southwest politician. Having rejected an Obasanjo candidacy and challenged the election as a fraud in court, we now find a leading member of the AD in the government, a daughter of an Afenifere leader, as Minister of uh, State and Dawolowo daughter as an ambassador, all appointed by a man who won the election through fraud. Meanwhile, nothing has been negotiated for the children of uh, Abiola and focus of uh, Yoruba political activities 
In return for this favor, the AD solidly voted for a vast and one as Senate president. This is a man who participated in two million man match for Abacha, says succession. He also in, is reputed to have hosted a meeting of uh, governors during IBB transition, demanding that June 12th election should never be annulled and threatening that the East would go to war if this was done. When Ibrahim Salisu Buhari was accused of uh, swearing to a false affidavit, the Yoruba political elite correctly took up the gauntlet for his resignation. When an AD governor, Bola Tunubu, swears to a false affidavit that he attended an Ivy League university, which he did not attend, we hear excuses for so many euro for so many years. The Eurobars have inundated this country with stories of being marginalized of a civil service dominated by Northerners through quota system. The Federal Character Commission has recently released a report which shows that the Southwest accounts for 27.8% of civil servants in the range of uh, GLO to GL14. And a full, and a full 29.5 percent of uh, the GL15, and above one zone out of a uh, six zone controls a full 30 percent of the civil service, leaving the other five zones to share the remaining 70 percent. We find the same story in economy and academia in Parastata. Yet, in spite of being so dominant, the Yoruba complained and complained of a marginalization of recent. In recognition of the trauma which hit the Southwest after June 12, the rest of the country forced everyone out of the race to ensure that a Southwesterner emerged, often against the best advice of the political activists. Instead of leading a path of reconciliation and strong appreciation, the Yoruba have embarked on short sighted triumphal threatening other nationalities that they who after all lost election will protect Abasanjo who was forced on them. No less a person than Bola Ige have made such utterances. To further show that they were in charge, they led a court in Hausa area of Shagamo, murdered a Hausa man and nothing happened. In the violence that followed, they killed several Hausa residents with Yoruba leaders like Shagun Osoba reminding Nigerians of the need to respect the cultures of their host communities. This would have continued were it not for the people of Kano who showed that they could also create their own Oro uh, who would only be appeased through the shedding of uh, innocent Yoruba blood. I say all this to support Barabe Musa's statement that the greatest problem to the nation building in Nigeria are the Yoruba. Uh, I say this also to uh, underscore my point that until they change this attitude, no conference can solve the problem of Nigeria. We cannot move forward if the leadership of one of the largest ethnic groups continues to operate, not like statement, but like common area boys. The Igbo factors and the uh, reasonable limit of re uh, retribution. The Igbo people of Nigeria have made a mark in the history of this nation. They led the first successive military coup, which eliminated the military and political leaders of other regions, while letting of the Igbo leaders, one for Rizu, then the Senate president in con uh, consultation with President Aziki, who subverted the constitution and handed over power to Agui Irensi. All right, uh, I think uh, this is where I have to stop for today because of our time. I'm Mazi Oge Friday, yeah. as in from this uh, submission of. Uh, Emi of uh, Kano State, uh, Malam Sanusi, Lamido. Lamido Sanusi, what would you make of it? Yes, uh, if you listen to this very well, if you read meaning into, into what uh, he said, or pass into the statement, you will understand with me that this is a statement made to favor some group of persons or some group of people. And at the same time, a statement made to condemn some group of people. Do not misunderstand me to say that the Hausa Yorubas and the Fulanese, in quote, they are using Nigeria as business, as a family business. Just like what Rocha Sokorocha wanted to do in Imo State. After this person, you hand over to this person then you are using the other people to make up your chances. He started it 
from the history of how the coup began blaming the Igbos being cost of it but in the right direction there were the people that lured the Igbos into doing this hoping that because the Igbos or perhaps the Biafran people they are working hard to make sure that the country works for the betterment of everybody then not knowing that it can work that way that the people they are dealing with they do not have their interest at heart they are playing smartness on them thereby sending them to commit atrocities to their own detriment in favor of those who do not even love them in the first place now if you watch it very well you see that it is only the houses that ruled in the military regime at the same time when the democracy came up they are also ruling the people for, for example the Muhammad the Buhari the late Muhammad Buhari and so many others then if you go to the Yoruba side of it uh, Obasanjo led in the military regime he also led in the democratic regime but tell me how many Igbos or how many Biafans led successfully in the military regime and also in the democratic regime so it is a big question that our people need to ask themselves what Lamido Sanusi was saying trying to make Yorubas and the Hausas of Fulanis be on the on the on the on the on the gaining side and at the same time condemning the Igbos being the cause of the problem All this right, is just to make much, sure that to, to tell our people that we are not welcomed here it is just a game of blame all right. Thank you very much, Mazi Gefriday. Thank of you. course, I will come back to you shortly. All right, uh, Mazi Evis, uh, I am coming towards your area now. Are you there? I'm listening. All right. Uh, based on the report of uh, uh, the Lagos Trade Fair, which is a uh, Igbo dominated uh, business area, which, which has been shut down by the Lagos State Government, what would you make of it? Yeah, my brother, I don't have anything to make of anything uh, because making things out of nothing is of uh, kind of a, uh, is just a time being wasted. And um, um, the so-called people that their shop has been uh, locked up and um, uh, closed down, uh, this is just uh, a tip, the tips of an iceberg. It's just a beginning. Not that I'm happy of what has happened but um on the day i could remember vividly on the day of uh, opening the kind of dedications of that very place when that area was a kind of giving to the Igbos to develop when they were chased out of, of uh, Idumata just because of the reasons of powers the day they called our people's general that is uh, ojuku he went to that very place i was there i was on ground that day. the man weeps for more than 13 minutes he couldn't speak a word when he was standing on the podium to address the few masses that were the, the, the crowd, the Igbos that were there. The only thing he said after weeping, he said, Ibo be wukwenu. Some raging Guzlu people said here yeah, because they didn't listen. He said, Ibo be wukwenu again when many people didn't respond. He said, Ibo be wukwenu. He now said a word, when will you people learn? When will you people be a kind of wake up and stop being used to develop another man's land? He said all manner of, he said about three, four points and dropped the microphone and went down from the podium. He didn't say it anywhere. If you have the video, go and replay it right now. And yet, he didn't stop them from developing that very place. He didn't stop them from still buying and building, skyrocketing, and we kind of a sky, uh, skyscrapers. In that very place, it didn't stop them uh, investing their billions underground. So, if anything should happen to them or whatever thing that happens, they call for it, call for it because he that fetched a firewood with ants, it definitely it, it is a kind of it, it automatically inviting lizard to it, I mean, to his house. So, whatever thing that happens to them, it, it, just watch it. They will only cry 
for that yesterday and today, after now and three days, you see them going back in mass and yet continue from where they stopped. They don't relate, they, 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 cannot, they don't learn lessons from whatever thing that has been happening to them. How SARS have been using them, how will rise up, destroy their properties and uh, confiscate everything. And tomorrow you see them get back to that land and start building. European people will not stood up uh, uh, I mean in the night and confiscate their properties. Yet you see them going in mass. Even if you are not what I'm saying right now, go to Onitsha Park. Oh, we are talking people that are talking to Lagos today. Go to uh, go to Aba, uh, uh, go to uh, uh, um, Court. Every day people are traveling in mass to Lagos State and Abuja. And how many people, okay, if you get to Abuja or Lagos, how many of them are coming back? How many else are traveling likewise? Nothing. You will see such a thing, a sort of magnitude of uh, mass uh, transportation to that very area. And they, yet, we have been clamoring and telling them, you know, they refuse to listen. Let me just tell you, there is no amount of this you tell them that they will uh, kind of they will, uh, change because I don't know if their heart has been given for uh, 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 a little bit might. Look at it now. We have a, 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 a landmass on the block. We have all it takes to live in our place and if people will begin to emerge and come to our land. But yet we rejected the place. We refuse to develop that very land and we continue to abuse one another and uh, even uh, uh, use our blood and beg people to live in their land. You know, let me just tell you one thing now that will trust you. Very soon now you will learn that all the shop owners in the uh, trade fair are asked to pay 10,000. 10, whatever, whatever money is meant for, that very money will be used to appease the, the upper of Lagos, the towns and the gov government to allow them to stay. This is the next thing you will hear right now. And they will pay this very money per head. And after paying that very money, they will still go back to every place without minding that this is just a sample of what is about to happen. That these people are tired of your stay, that your stay in that land is no longer welcome. Your stay has been expired. It's better for you to pack your bag and package it gradually and went down to your own, uh, which, I mean, to your own uh, 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 land, which is their land. And they will not it. Because let me just tell you. Do you know that the people buying those goods in that uh, trade fair are Igbos? The people importing are Igbos. Yoruba man can never buy anything from you. Rather, he, he rather prefer to go to a wedding to buy for his own brother. And okay, for you now to reason and to know that the people that buy the things you import and people that bought those things you sample are your brothers. Why don't you take it down to the land where all of you uh, uh, kind of emerge now, where all of you uh, 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 kind of will now come back and use it massively? You know, because we take this whole business in that very place to allow the the, the, the bars, uh, kind of to get it at the cheaper rate and it be easy for them. But the fact that they are not patronizing, houses are not even patronizing. We are patronizing our own business. We are promoting our own brothers. We are promoting our own business. Then what stops you? Because if your brothers could buy from you and take take it to Angola. Buy from you and take it to uh, uh, Mozambique. Buy from you and take it to South Africa. It is as good as getting to your own land because if you could be able to travel to come to Lagos, it would be as, as well. Come travel to East, to Lagos, and take to to, I mean, to Angola and so many other areas. Why taking it? Why stay in Lagos? Because as you are doing in that in Lagos, there is no gain, there is no benefit. You have been benefiting from the Euro bus rather. You are the one paying them. You pay Owo or Manile. You pay Owo or or this. You pay Owo uh, uh, Tulumbu. You pay this and you pay that, yet you some fill these canals and still develop their land. And yet they are not even happy. They see you as miscreant. They see you as criminal. Yet you force yourself. They tell you they don't want you. You are forcing yourself to remain. You are forcing yourself as someone that don't have hope. Someone that don't even, like someone that has been ostracized. Has been ostracized. Someone that has been chased out of his own land. It's only a man that don't have a place. Someone that is friended that begs his enemy, even at, at the expense of becoming his slave, that will be begging the enemy to, I mean, to remain. But someone that has a home, even a prodigal son, one day remember that he has a father's house, he has, he has a mansion in his father's house. He said, Why should I be eating from the swine house? And he left the swine house and got back to his father's house and developed the place and remained, I mean, remained, I believe, as a king. Why are we, you know, it is an irony. Uh, 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 the, the, the foot of Germans are riding on our horses, and the people that we that own the horse are walking on the barefooted, begging, begging the houses to eat from the from, from the uh, uh, crumbs. 
the, 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 the remaining of the, the, the crops that fell from the, from the master's table. Why we have the people that decide we are the people that own the table, we are the people that, 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 that hold, I mean, hold the, uh, uh, the economy of the, of, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the country, yet we don't even value ourselves. My brother, I don't know the one that I will say that will make sense or a kind of uh, uh, motivate them to move than the one our proposed general has said, that the one our uh, leader, Master Bandikan, has been saying since the onset of radio and television Biafra. So thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, our brother Masi Elvis Awundo, for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, injustice anywhere is still injustice everywhere. All right, right about now, we are ready to show the world the video of um, uh, how the people we are protesting in 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 grievances and uh, expressing their level of anger of what is being done to them. We not go agree. I am not going to move. Hello, what is going on? You can see what is going on. You don't need to ask me what is going on. We are in a foolish country, Nigeria. Really? A stupid country. Country without law. Country who don't know the value of human being. Country doesn't know anything about woman. Understand? Look at what is going on. They want to take over our property. Uh, what do you message you have to, to give our Igbo brothers? The only message business? I'm trying to give our Igbos in Nigeria, the Biafran Igbos. What I mean, Igbos, the Biafran Igbos. It's for them to organize themselves. Since this land, they reject us as one Nigeria. Then the best thing for us to plan ourselves to live in this country and have our own country. Thank you. That's called Biafran land. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, thank you and welcome back. Hello, viewers all over the world. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. My name is Mazi Victor Oyendo, and I uh, have Mazi Oge Friday with me in the studio. And also, of course, uh, Mazi Elvis is also standing by with us to also analyze and do the work of educating our people and uh, telling our people what they should know and uh, what they should see in the days to come. And uh, we are here to expose the lies of the zoo, to tell the world the truth, let them see the truth, because uh, all this that is happening against our people, no news is carrying it, it's not coming out on their national day list, and they are not talking about it. And uh, the world, everybody is silent as if nothing is happening. So we are the ones telling our story the way it is, and uh, the world should see the truth. And the marginalization that is going on against our people is very unbearable. That's why we are here to talk about it. You can do good to share our program in all your social media spaces. Uh, we are on Skype, we are on Periscope, we are on YouTube, we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, and also we are on WhatsApp. Uh, also, you can do good to log on to our website, which is www.biafrantv.co. Uh, also, you can do good to call your friends and where we share your neighbors, even the enemies, to come and listen to this very gospel of truth because this is Bethlehem Television and we are here to expose the lies of the two. Once again, my name is Mazi Victor Onido and I have Mazi Oge Friday with me and uh, with Mazi Elvis who is standing by. We are, we are going to be going on a short break and we'll come back and uh, we'll continue from the analysis uh, that we have here. Stay tuned and uh, don't go anywhere. Thank you. We not go agree. I am not going to move. Hello, what is going on? You can see what is going on. You don't need to ask me what is going on. We are in a foolish country, Nigeria. Really? A stupid country. Country without law. Country who don't know the value of human being. Country doesn't know anything about woman. Understand? Yeah. Look at what is going on. They want to take over our property. Uh, what do you message you have to, to give our Igbo brothers? The only message, message I'm business. trying to give our Igbos in Nigeria, the preference Igbos. What I mean, Igbos, the preference Igbos. Yeah. It's for them to organize themselves. Since this land, they reject us as one Nigeria. Then the best thing for us to plan ourselves to live in this country and have our own country. Thank you, Biafran land. Thank you very much. Thank you. All of us of freedom, dear fans and friends and well wishers that are watching and listening to us all over the world. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And my name is Mazi Victor Oyindo, and I have uh, Mazi uh, Oge okay, Friday. Oge okay, Friday, can you say hello to people? 
We have fans all over the world. We've been doing the need for here, enlightening our people, educating our people, exposing the lies of the contraption called Nigeria. And we urge you to stay tuned. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. We also have uh, Mazi Elvis who is standing by to educate our people. Mazi Elvis, can you say hello to the people? Yeah. Um, my brothers, because uh, Biafra is IPOB is a family, I am saying uh, listen and um, be attentively. Just be a good listener and jot those things down that make sense and apply it to your visions and you will achieve your goal and all of us will get to the Biafra. Biafra very shortly because um, that is the only option. All right, thank you very much. All right, uh, just like uh, what we have on ground there, uh, Mazi Evis, uh, I'm still with you. What would you make of uh, the statement uh, made by uh, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, the current Emir of Kano State, who uh, stated that the Eurobas are the chief instigators of uh, violence crisis that is that must have been going on in this very country, but in the other way around, they pretend they are not the ones who are behind it. What would you make of that? Yeah. Um, uh, truth, the truth cannot be overemphasized because uh, when you um, look at it in this very uh, angle, you will find out that the, the marginalization uh, is loudly and boldly uh, trending uh, because uh, it's no longer hidden right now. Even the blind man has noticed the physical uh, kind of uh, happenings, you know, and uh, by so doing, this Sanusi, Lamido, Sanusi, or whatever, no matter what this man, or no, what, no matter what he has, or intend to say, or he has said, or he is about to say in future, it doesn't matter, it doesn't make any sense to me, because these are the part, part and parcel of this Jubilee government that um, 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 send most of their, their men to subjugate our people and to enfranchise their rights and um, a kind. Tell us that we don't have right even to uh, kind of achieve our aims and our goal, that we don't have any mouth to say any word. This very man that wants to say this word was during the time when he was uh, um, the governor of CBN. Um, he dealt with uh, our brother, um, um, Good Lord Jonathan. Do you know that every contract that Good Lord Jonathan uh, kind of applied for uh, the house approved? To be contracted, Samido will refuse to reimburse money. He will refuse to release money for that as long as that thing is not going to affect or kind of has an effect on kind of benefit to the northerners. He will just stop the 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 the, the, the contract. He, instead, he will be arguing with the, with the federal government and telling that the contract is too uh, expensive, but forgetting that this and the, 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 the same man. That will only open the door for contract. Do you remember that some time ago, the Chinese and the Malaysians uh, engineers and contractors were invited in Nigeria, and the the the, 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 the northerners, even the, the, the southerners of uh, uh, so emirs of uh, uh, the, the southerners and the emirs of uh, the northerners, they now said that the, con the only construction of company or development that will start most surely has to start from the north first. And nobody said a word. So if this man came up right now to begin to kind of try to, he's trying to buy the mind of the gullible evils. You know, pretending as if that he is speaking our mind. But these are the meetings, these are the plans. These are the already planned and conspiracy that they have went inside their door or closed door meeting to have with the Eurobars. You know, because they are pressurizing our people in the north. He has also said a word. Now this one has happened in the, in the Yoruba land, which means the international and people that matters has begun to ask questions. Why is it that this same particular tribe have been marginalized, killed, this property have been destroyed in the north? Even in Yoruba land, and things are happening. Even recently, uh, uh, during the election, they, they saw a lot of things that really happened. So for them to come out, they are politicians. These people, these people, they are, they are too smart. You know, but out of his smartness, IPOB is smarter than them. What they are saying doesn't make any sense because if it makes sense in the government, in this this very uh, government right now, we are in every place they carry some of those ethnicities along, and who is well, balloting their pay in the, the, the very nation is all about Hausa oligarchy. Even not only Hausas, but Fulanis and the Muslims. He has not said a word concerning that. 
and they are using them to, to uh, constitute names and users in the land for him to come up right now to say that the Yorubas are causing this. That is, that is, uh, I, I see it as a, as a cacophonies, you know, it's just uh, trying to frame up and make up stories for Igbos now to begin to say, eh, so this is also speaking on our behalf, that is bunkum, it's just rubbish, you know, it's just totally rubbish and it's unacceptable because they know what they are doing and they'll continue to do that because they know their aims and they must achieve their aims. It's just like what they are doing. They will do the wrong thing and come out on, on, on the social media and start to accuse you. They will be the one, just like in one word, in a broken word that said, you know me, and now you they do me, yet you can't repeat me. You are the worst enemy that I could have as a friend. You know, so the only thing I, I could say via his word is you should go and talk to his people. We don't need his voice. We don't. We don't even recognize him. We don't even want to associate with him. We don't even want to listen or because these are uh, conspired conspiracy that they have implemented. They, 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 are, they are kind of they execute their plans. They know what they, what they, 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 they what they are doing because uh, Kule and the Kule Ajayi and the uh, Adamawa governor said a word and they are doing what they said. After four years, that the evils will be it will be what will not longer be relevant. And this happening. We are no longer relevant in anywhere. In our business, we are not relevant. They close everywhere. Even land and sea, they close everywhere. In politics, we are not relevant. Even in our own destiny, we are not relevant. They continue chasing us away from our homes to abroad. Are you relevant? Okay, if you are not even relevant, what you need to do when you are rejected well, I mean, by, by, by the masses, the next thing, the, the only option you need is to get back to your own, I mean, to your own domain and put things in order there. One day, they will, your enemy will surely look for you. But because of the fact we lost our value, we don't know who we are. Because if you know who you are, you can you can never be messed around with your enemy. So thank you. All right, thank you very much, our brother Mazi Elvis and you for that wonderful so, session. Of course, uh, uh, you are educating our people and uh, enlightening them on what is on ground on the intricate aspect of uh, what we are going through. But uh, on the other hand, uh, also uh, Senator Dino Melaye from uh, Kogi West, who also made the statement earlier condemning the very act of uh, the Eurobas and also calling on the international community to come and look into that very matter and uh, pleading with the Igbos not to react or to pick up arms. What would you make of that one also? My brother, those of them that are coming up right now to speak on behalf of the Igbos, they are, I mean, it is too late. And forget forget that they are mentioning Igbos, but we are their friends. We are not agitating for Igbos. Are you insinuating they should not speak for us anymore? Let me just tell you this, like what, like the, the, the phrase I use in the uh, broken language, you be the person where they do me. Now you be my problem. Every morning you come to my house, come to pity me. And now you be my problem. You come to pretend as if say you be my problem. I cannot do to, to, to uh, you. They ask me, oh boy, how you there now? What did they happen? How this level is just for you to know if the 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 the, the, the main sin, the, the plan you 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 kind of you you insinuated or you you fired into my life, whether that thing is working or not. So I don't take you as, and because, let me just, it's just like mechanic, when you brought your car to a mechanic workshop, they will fix the car and remove one thing or the other two, and enable you come back tomorrow, if they expect you today, but tomorrow you didn't come, they will call you on that, your oil filter is due to be removed, your oil is due to be serviced, your oils are due to be serviced the engine, because they know that you need to come back. You understand? So these are the techniques that, they of the people that are saying that we are then not around when the election was rigged, these people calling the international community, they have problems within themselves. They've not been able to say this. I mean, they were they not the people that read the elections. The international community they are coming. Are they not the ones that they went to pay? They paid them. Who is this the international community for crying out loud? Who is this very people they are expecting to come and speak? And is it the one that they say that you cannot come without a notice that when you come, you will go back and buy the bags? My brother, let us use our initiative. We are brains. We are not breakfast intelligent. That is why whatever thing they are doing, we have to do our thing by ourselves. So thank you. All right, thank you very much, uh, Brother Mazi Evi Sound. Of course, we'll be going on a short break, and uh, when we come back, we are going to be ready to open our phone lines for you to call in to make a contribution. Don't go anywhere. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And my name is Mazi Victor Onyido, and I have Mazi Oge Friday with me in the studio. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere.
Hello and welcome back, all of us of freedom, friends and well wishers. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. My name is Mazi Victor, and I have Mazi Oge Friday with me, and also Mazi Elvis on the way, who has been standing by. Also, is doing the great work of educating our people on what is going on. And uh, of course, uh, we will be opening our phone lines for you to call in to make your contribution and to also ask your question if you have any. And uh, all the analysis that is here they are going to look into it and uh, attend to every of your single question and uh, anything that is agitating your mind that you are not clarified about feel free to ask and uh, it will be clarified also before we go into that i want to also read out uh, this very one again um Miles Davis, i hope you are following yes Ma i'm following okay Thank you very much. All right, uh, we have this one about uh, a vigilante group rescues police officer from kidnappers in River State. How laughable. Um, an Nigerian police officer in a heartfelt appreciation embraced an OSPAC local vigilante group member in Oba Ebema, Ndone, local government area of uh, River State, after being rescued by OSPAC from kidnappers then today in river state maybe it's time for the federal government to reconsider allowing the state to flood the neighborhood watch everything shouldn't be politicized how sad and deep for the people living in nigeria if it is now the duty of civilians to rescue and protect the nigerian armed uh, police officers and soldiers from those they are supposed to apprehend how can then the ordinary people feel safe in such a horrible situation whereby the safety of military and policemen are not guaranteed so mass service <laughs> this very report what would you make of it you know when a civilian is now the one uh, saddled with the duty of uh, protecting the armed forces who are supposed to be in charge of the security situation uh, only in nigeria what would you make of it mass my my brother calling that name of uh, that contrast of Nigeria, um, you 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 watch the, the the how your the shape of your mouth stands, and because you don't call it with boldness, why? Because in that very place, he is the only country that carpenter always do the work of. Doctors and mechanic left their, their workshop and get to the, 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 the universities and become vice chancellors, you know. And uh, Captain Will has become president, you know. Then the soldiers now have condescended so low, a combatant soldier has condescended so low to become a civil uh, uh, defense, you know, to engage themselves into civil matters. Then why lawyers in that construction has now gone to uh, a man? You know, so what do you expect? We well, as no fans will just find it as gone. Even their minimum wages have not been recognized or even paid. You understand me? So they are just carrying rifle for nothing sake. So if such a thing is being happening, my brother, many more is about to happen because let me just tell you, they, 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 they have abused everything, both the right, the system. The construction, the land, the government, the, the whole thing has been abused. And when you abuse it, it's just like when your doctor, when doctors prescribe a drug for you and you abuse it. The next thing you, you expect is what? Is you. You will be expected, you will be in the, the reaction of that very medicine. We react so bad that you yourself, you could, you could die. I mean, you may even die on it. Or maybe something will happen to you because you have abused everything that could help you. Let me just tell you, the moon deficiency that is protecting the construction has been destroyed. So now they have been infected with Ebola, they have been infected with monkeypox, they have been infected with all manner of infections, all manner of diseases that have no cure. So you will expect everything, both worms, both uh, crises, 
Oh, everything is expected to imagine that place because all the, the things that need to protect, that need to safeguard, that need to uh, create harmony has been attacked, which means the immune deficiency of that land has been what has been attacked, has been destroyed. So whatever story that comes up, whether fish swallow Jonah or Jonah swallow fish, the right thing they need there is swallow. But whether they kidnap them or they rescue them or whatever. The immune deficiency of that land has been terminated. So the only option right now is to disseminate, uh, disseminate this work of the disintegrating. I mean, the, 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 the construction. And let everybody face his own warrant. Let everybody go back to his own, uh, I mean, to, to his own test. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, Mazi Evis, on the way for that wonderful contribution. Of course, uh, friends and lovers of freedom, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and right about now, our lines are open for you to call in to make a contribution and to ask your question if you have any, and uh, I call out the lines for you to call. Uh, WhatsApp line is uh, plus 234-090-566-0858. I call it again plus two three four zero nine zero five six six zero eight five eight three, and the phone line is plus two three four zero seven zero two zero three five three seven zero six. I call it again plus two three four zero seven zero two zero three five three seven zero six. Also, you can call us on Skype at Sunrise BTV or Facebook Messenger at Sunrise BTV. Please keep the calls coming in. Mazel Vis is here to attend to all your questions, and Mazel Ge Friday too is here to answer any single question you have. Keep your contributions coming in. All right, uh, um, Mazel Ge Friday, I come yeah. to you. You know, um, based on this uh, report that I have just uh, read out, do you think uh, it is the right thing for civilians to do the work of uh, protecting the armed people? Because uh, when you look at it uh, from a holistic angle, you will see that. Uh, these same military men and the policemen are the same people that truncated the election, electoral pro uh, uh, process in River State, shooting and killing a lot of people. Then how come it's very impossible for them to protect themselves? All right, we do have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Hello, call on the phone. We seem to have lost him. All right, I'm as okay, Fred, like as I was saying. All right, we have another call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, come on the phone. Good morning. How are you doing? Am I coming out clear? Okay, please turn down the volume of your listening Hello? device. Am I coming out clear? Yeah, you are coming out clear. Please tell us your name and go ahead and make your contribution. What is going to our people is upon now, upon now, upon now, upon now. See, I made the sandals, I made the sandals. He says his own. Allah, he says his own. Seems like nobody is hearing the one or our ticket, our leader, our friend leader is saying. Huh? They think we are talking. My name is Marvin Olechi, and I am calling from Italy. And I am a coordinator of what you will hear in Italy. Mark. Hello, caller, are you there? You seem to have lost him. Please try and call us back. All right, we do have a caller on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Yes. My name is Mr. Shukwode. Okay. I'm calling all the way from Rizalwa. You're welcome. And I'm, I'm from Biafra Land, Oka Rovers. My brother, Victor and um, Friday. My God bless both of you. He said, God everybody. bless our little mouse in the hand of the Our deputy is my fault. In my powerful and um, mouse in the And all uh, the Afran heart calls. May God protect all of us and give us more hope. Wisdom and understanding to continue until we restore the Afran in that time. All of us should be alive. Want to restore the Afra in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. So, I'm um, as we look out for There's something I want to contribute this morning. Um, Please go ahead. You know, I'm blaming our brothers in Lagos. 
and then car and in Abuja and the every part of uh, Nigeria and the every part of Africa and the every part of the world. I'm blaming them for not developing the African land, for running away from our own land. But the blame I think to them is only 20% land. 80% goes to so-called Nigeria government, the zoo government, and the so-called uh, elect, from elect, Nyangwodu them, Ohanezi them, the Afro senators them, and the governors them. Because those are our brothers that are in every part of the world, in that Lagos, in that Abuja, in that Kaduna Kano, they are not there because it is their first choice. They are not there because it is their second choice. They are there because they are forced to be there. They are frustrated out, including me. I'm not here today because I want to be here. I, I, I think I walk through the desert and I swim the ocean. Luckily, I get myself in New York. And in a 10% of the force, we took the same journey. They died in the, in the desert and in the ocean. I was frustrated wow. out because of the law made by the zoo. They lock that our place up. They lock all the ports, all the airports. There is no train station here. There is no railway station. There is no railway uh, um, transport here, no train station. So, there is no anything that can attract investors. That place is not, there is something that uh, investors call business seducive. That Biafran land, that return is not seducive in business, is not attractive in business, is not business sexy. There is something that's called business sexy. The place that is sexy in business, the place that is seduced in business, the place that is attract in the business. But Yoruba and the House of Lanis, they take the key, they lock up, they lock in all the sea port, worry, they lock Port Harcourt, they lock Calabar, they lock our international airport, not functioning. At that name market that is functioning, they are now they make the law that you make it well, you, even if you, if you clear your goods from Lagos before you break it up to that main market only 50% come into the main market the custom will seize the, the remaining 50% and, and sold it auction to their brothers and that 50% that will come into the market will be very 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 high it will be difficult for you to sell it or to build it even the people who come from other African countries are not coming more to that number market anymore. They now in the Lagos. And this works for select people to be going to Lagos to buy. If you see, now that number market is no more functioning. It's collapsing. It's already collapsed. What you see there now is empty building. It's not functioning there before like as it was. 1970. I must say if I was, I was it was not before in that Onisha. But they, they frustrated me, all my money finished, and I become, I'm growing up and down, I come to, they forced me out of from that town, from that region, from Nigeria. So you cannot blame our people there, 100%. You blame the only 20%. But Nigeria government make the law that make, that will make us, the African people, not to develop our land. They make it that that place, nobody will come here to invest. And they will if invest there, yeah, that money will finish immediately. That you must run away from that place. No investor can, it's not attractive, that not a place to invest. No money there, no power, no airport, no seaport, nothing happens there. How can a foreign investor come there to build a factory? It can never happen. You can only build a factory around the world. So that all that can be just on local state. So thank you. And God bless you. This is what I have to uh, attribute this board. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We appreciate Thank you for that wonderful contribution. Of course, we do have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Please turn down the volume of your listening device. There's a call back there. I always say this on this program. Before you call the program, turn down the volume of your listening device so that we can have effective communication. Please. You still have not turned down the volume of your listening device. 
I'm sorry, I cannot take that call. Please do call us back. Make sure before you call us, you tune down the volume of your listening device so that we can have communication effectively. You cannot be calling us and be listening to yourself at the same time. It doesn't make any sense, and uh, we cannot communicate effectively if there is a hold back. All right, keep the calls coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and uh, my name is Mazi Victor Oint, and I have Mazi Oge Friday with me here in the studio, and also Mazi Evis is also standing by with us to also do justice to all that is coming up. All right, keep the calls coming in. We have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Call on the phone. Good morning. I hope he's not listening to himself. Please keep the calls coming in. Turn down the volume of your listening device while you call us and speak into the microphone so that we can hear you clearly and they have effective communication. Once again, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And my name is Mazi Victor. And I have Mazi Oge Friday with me in the studio. All right, we do have a call on Sky. Call on Sky, good morning. Hello, I call on Sky. Good morning. I'm um, I'm sorry, uh, uh, we did the new indicum. I came from Maka in a new Nefalem. But I'm just a quick care about my sister, the indigenous people, therefore, here in Russia as the national coordinator. Right. Uh, my brother, actually, I've been following the program since you started diligently. I, I, before I comment I disagree with uh, the last caller because I that is the first caller. If I'm not mistaken, the reasons he gave that uh, made uh, justify the staying of our people in Lagos and in Abuja, and then I was full and I cleaned them, and then they took away. The, the, that is the reason uh, that he gave uh, enough reason that somebody. Uh, you will that is you abandon your homeland. Okay, most of us are living abroad. That one is understandable. But for you to live in a place, in this place, in uh, the place we are living, nobody, anything, the people that uh, we believe in their country, they accept us. We do business, we work, and nobody can be no citizen of this country can be able to tamper with your uh, with your resources or your source of income. So, uh, coming to Nigeria uh, is, is, is not a simple. So if our people are living there, and now uh, we do the reasons the our brother has given, because no support, no reward, no everything is closed. Yes, that's true. But what prevent our people that are living, living in Abuja and the Lagos joining IP for over six years now? Our people have been, have been crying. If what the other is you are going to do, if it is genuine enough, then what prevents you guys joining the that is the force that is to build airport, uh, airport in our uh, 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 in our country? I'm not saying build this in our open support. That this is at the agenda of our speed and can what prevents them from joining ITB? Because I believe if uh, even Biafra that are living in Abuja, business people that live in Abuja and Lagos, they are IPAP. Biafra will come in less than two months. This is what we are used to talk about on Amnesia and uh, Amnesia and the Commission and, and the Ubu Commission. Sorry. The number of, compared to the number of people, of the people that have uh, millions of our people live in Lagos and Abuja, if these guys join IPAP, bring out their resources and support IPAP, Biafra will come in less than two months. So there is no justification. If there is time, if there is if it is time the before when we don't have ITB, we have a leader, yes, the that is we can learn if we can be able to reason with them and say yes, the reason to stay there is just terrible. But now we will have a leader which is who that is who is who has given his life to make sure that all this all these complaints, all these things that are not in our land will uh, become reality. But now our people are there, they are only interested in the investment. They will talk about the uh, mansion, the uh, uh, shopping mall, the hotels, they have in Abuja, they have in, they have in, in Lagos. All of this, this world is keeping you know, uh, uh, Biafra. So today we are in this world, we are still struggling. 
All right, thank, thank you very uh, much, uh, my uh, brother, for that wonderful contribution. Uh, of course, we uh, do appreciate uh, you for that. There are people that exist in Abuja and Lagos who should support ICB, and then all the problem we 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 we, we come to end. We can be able to have all the things that we uh, that our South Africans are doing for us. So, my brother, I uh, sign off from here. I feel that you can take all ICB members. We are there and our deputy and all the members of uh, uh, Hello, have a call on the phone. Hello, call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Hello, call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Am I coming out clear? You are coming out loud and clear. Please go ahead and make a call. I'm good morning. I'm Chiso. Where you are calling from? Okay, I'm Ch I'm Chiso. I'm calling from I'm calling from Malaysia. Right, um, I don't want to tell a big thing. Where, where is our governors? Where is our senators? Where is all this our position? All the elites? All of them has gone down into their bedroom. Sit down into their bedroom. None of them are talking today. They are all waiting to hear what the man the Kano will say. I'm telling our people that we will not start following all these politicians wherever they drove past. To collect 10 naira, 20 naira, to collect 1,000 naira from them. They can watch now that their mandate, those people are representing, is for their own family only. No man has rise up to speak. An outsider, Tony Lai from Cookie West, is the one speaking. Where is our senators there? All of them has gone down under their wife. Their wife they do. Their wife down. No man, don't have any man there apart from one man they can, and the rest of IPOB. There is no man the whole life. Look at what is going on. Nobody has stand up. Or any job doing what parading their self. Going from one place is collecting 100,000, 100, giving people chief tenancy title. You see what we call for? They are killing your people, destroying your people's business. After the, the country that you call your own. Or anybody has come up again. That man has come up again. Start talking about bad structures. Because we are keeping quiet for that man. I mean, they have stoned that man one day. That man will not be talking all this thing that he's talking. Now he cannot go to that because he used to do drugs and fuck. And let it be keep quiet. All of them now are waiting for the Kalu will talk. All this, our lawyer, are sophisticated without anything, without chamber. They are just waiting for Nan the Kalu to speak. When Nan the Kalu speak now, all of them will say, Had he been, he could have done it like this. He could have, he have given all people a chance now. Come out and talk. Let people that will listen to you, they will not come out. That is what I want to say. Let them come out and talk. Not to the man, the woman's man, they cannot come out and talk now. They will start to the analyze what he no talk. But what I know, that's why I'm very, very angry this morning. Here. God bless you, people. All right, thank you very much, uh, brother. We appreciate you. Thank you. A wonderful contribution. Of course, uh, we are Biafra and uh, we are here to restore Biafra and nothing more, nothing less. Please keep the calls coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. My name is Mazi Victor and I have uh, Mazi Oge Friday with me in the studio. Of course, uh, Mazi, every sound of the two is standing by to also do justice to all the issues we have here. We have a call on Sky. Call on Sky, good morning. Hello, call on Sky, good morning. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Please tell us the number where you are calling from. My name is Tukwemeke, I'm calling from Germany. I just want to contribute to uh, one or two things. First is uh, about what uh, Dino Malai is saying. But we have senators who we didn't want to vote for, but they enforce themselves on us. Someone like that peak with fast stomach that, called, that owns capital lawyer, he cannot speak for the so-called evils that they are doing business together in Lagos. He cannot call it pay, uh, speak what it is. Another thing I want to say, that is just by the way, because I know that those people who claim to be represented, they are all animals. And I'm sorry for anybody who is following them. What I want to say, the main thing I call is because of uh, this Emea, Anusi Lamido, whatever they call it. He's big, attacking the Yerubas now, trying to make himself look like he's an innocent person speaking for uh, the Biafras or the Ebos. But that same man, each, each time that animal open his mouth and talk, every evil man should remember that Julius, Julius Akaloka, that man still have the blood of that innocent man in his hand. And not until Amy Asanusi pay with his life, we will never forgive him. He cannot be kicked, he cannot have the blood of an innocent man, evil man on his hand. And he's speaking like an angel. Who gave him that 
mor I mean, which on which moral ground is he standing to? Yep, that rubbish he's talking about. This is a murderer protected by the British and made Amy and he's there yapping like a fool. That is nonsense. Another one I want to say is this uh, uh, vigilante of a thing, rescuing a police, uh, uh, police officer. Our people have to be careful. They want to have another set of killers all in the name of vigilante group. And they want to do all the evil they will bring out what's useless prison. And Yoruba will help them concord that kind of nonsense thing. And then you see them coming out with kind of people they tomorrow they will call them court and begin to kill all of them. They are about to do something fishy and sinister in that thing. They said the police are arrested. The people in that area should be careful. Never we trust Nigeria. The only hope we have is Biafra and our leader Martin Nani. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, our brother. Of course, we appreciate you for that wonderful one. Stay blessed wherever you are. Please keep the calls coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. My name is Mazi Victor on you and I have Mazi Ogio Friday with me here in the studio and uh, also Mazi Evis is standing by to also do justice to every question that you are going to bring and to analyze the facts uh, and establish the truth because we are here to expose all the lies of the zoo and nothing more, nothing less. We are not covering up the truth. We are not covering up the lies of the zoo. We are exposing everything for the world to see. We are not going to run away from the truth. We are going to say it the way it is. All right, we'll have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, dear friend. Good morning, the lovers of Hayden. Uh, my name is Udemesu, and I'm calling from a side of the Okay, please go ahead. Uh, I have a little contribution to make to get I'm uh, talking about uh, guarantee rescue police in Liberty uh, in the test of Because uh, the area has already, the police have already formed a group called VGF to monitor our people to, to stand as the spy to the outside Fulani uh, legacy. But I want to let our people know, anywhere you will find yourself, find some people to come to VGS, you have to be careful with those people because they find no agreement with them to fight against ACB and, and, and other people around the Biafra land. And coming back to our side of the I want to talk about the side of Thank God for uh, God delivering us from uh, the hand of police called Aladino uh, Opadio. This Opadio that containing in a side of state is a cattle area. The street of Uyu uh, full with cattle. The, the street of uh, Ikorekona and other places full with cattle. A street of Opadio fell as a abuki in a side of state. They, they uh, never find one cattle again in the street. Thank you for what for Mazi Nambikano. That man is a prophet. We prophesy a lot of things that there are people never believe. The way they are quite minds we will believe in that man and we trust we trust in that man. We also uh, support him to make sure that Biafra has the red star. Thank you, Biafra. Thank you, VTV. May God to go at the Baba Sibu in the name of Yeshua Amasha. You see, thank you very much. Of course, keep the calls coming in. This is Sarah Daily News Analysis. We have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Yeah, hello. Good morning again, Victor. Good morning and welcome. Mazi, please go ahead. Yeah, it's me again. Um, Mr. Chipotle from Switzerland. Yeah. Okay, please. Um, go ahead. Please, I just want to uh, contribute. Uh, you know, before I finish, uh, before I finish, before I cut me off. Um, I just want to um, clear the our brother who called after me. I, maybe he did not understand me very well. I want to be clear. I am not in support of our brothers in Lagos or in Abuja not being a member of IPOB. But I want to tell him too that those who are brothers in Lagos and in Abuja maybe they, uh, they are not uh, being on the street as we are in the east but they are many of them are member of IPOB because anytime we call for city at home they sit at home to the closed market 
Anytime we said you should vote for this person, they do. They fool us in any law we give. So many of them in Lagos are a member of IPOB. But what he's saying is different. What he's saying is that what makes our brothers in Lagos not to be a member of IPOB. That is what he, that is his point argument is made. My argument is why our people are not interested. Okay, man, please, just in one minute, we can that place. round up in a nutshell, please, because of our time. Hello? I say, please, just take one minute and uh, round up, conclude. Okay? Okay. You know, when Jonathan is in power, Bukhari uh, said that he will make Nigeria ungovernable to him, and he made it and forced him out. So that our brother that is talking now, I think he's in our blood. That problem that forced him to be in our blood, the same problem that forced all the people who were in the girls in Abuja, every corner of Nigeria, the same problem. So, the only thing we should do now is to these people in the all the people in Nigeria, all over the world, we come together and support uh, this IPOB. Then we get Biafra. Any day we get Biafra now, you see all these people in Lagos everywhere. We come all back. Right, thank you. Yeah, that's right what we to be in Lagos. All right, we have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the program, please. Uh, my name is uh, Mecca. Sir? Please, can you speak up a little bit so Hello? I can hear you? Hello, my name is my name is Emeka. Oh, calling from a uh, province. Okay, please go ahead. Mm, I want to uh, remind uh, some from NBC. Uh, I have some brethren there which I always uh, do call and ask them about uh, how they hear in the radio their fact, yes? and the uh, people that they don't have uh, any that then I. I want to remind that they should please try to uh, have uh, radio therefore at the NBC so that they will follow for what we are doing. And secondly, you know, there is um, some certain things about uh, by cutting uh, 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 Nama when we were discussing yesterday. Then I want to say that, you know, if that two can be able to create our own uh, poultry farmer and empower some uh, uh, young youth to empower them in this our south east then bringing all these farmer like pig goose and other things to use in order to, to empower them so that we from there and because you know by cutting all these things now there is a lot of people as we are inside this very south east here some of them, they don't believe in that way you speak about them, they will say, I need that thing, uh, we have seen this and that. And all of us here, we have to, as in by God, we let us do something that they empower some youth for this food to be farmer, so that we can use to uh, have the opportunity to buy cut. Because if we just say buy cut, now they will say there is no another meat. You know, you know what we are facing. I just want to say this morning, thank you. All right, thank you very much, and uh, your submission is very well understood and noted. All right, we have a call on the phone. Call on the phone, good morning. Please, turn down the volume of your listening device. It is too horrible. It is too appalling. Please, make sure once every time you call this line, you tune it down. Tune it way down so that we can have effective communication. You cannot be speaking or speaking to us at the same time, listening to your uh, radio or whatever device you are listening with. It's not going to work. There's going to be a hold back and we cannot communicate effectively. Please, anytime you call us, turn it way down. Or anytime you take your calls, you tune it way down so that we can have effective communication. Once again, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And my name is uh, Mazi Victor Onido. And I have Mazi Ogo Friday with me in the studio here. And uh, Mazi, every song will be with too. It's also standing by to attend to every issues or point we are going to raise here. Please keep the calls coming in. And uh, we are going to take your call. Our lines are open and uh, keep the calls coming in. But make sure you, once you call us or once we take your call, you tune down the volume of your listening device so that there won't be a hold back. Because with the hold back, you can't hear us and we cannot hear you. And uh, the whole time will be wasted and the purpose will be destroyed. So it is not going to be accepted. All right, uh, Manzi, okay, Friday from 
the submission of the last caller, what would you make of it, especially regarding the area of uh, transmitter in uh, Boeing State? Uh, he said, but you not really covered that much, or are they having any problem? Yes, uh, our relay station and First of all, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And we are analyzing and uh, we are looking at uh, issues as they are coming up, and uh, we are looking at things, you know, uh, quite extensively and uh, looking at it the way it should be. All right, uh, I have Marzi Elvis also. Marzi Elvis, are you there? Yes. Okay, please. Uh, from the submission of some of our callers, please, do you have any reaction you would make from them? Especially those talking about uh, our brethren in Abuja and uh, Lagos. What would you make of that? Please come again. Come again. Raise your voice. I say from the submission of our um, callers, especially those who um, one of our brother called from Switzerland and uh, one of our brother also called from Germany. They pointed that those of our brethren in Lagos and Abuja, they are so relaxed and so lackadaisical in their attitude. They never wanted to join us about whatever IPOB is doing, and that is the reason why some of them are passing through the predicament they are passing through. That if they have joined IPOB by now, I think uh, their burden would have been less. So what would you make of it, as in from their submission? They made so many submissions, but uh, the little few I can pick, I say, what would you make from it? Okay, um, by the visions of the, the two last callers, uh, those of them, the one that come from Germany and the one from Sweden, and uh, what I could make of it, uh, what, um, the uh, only thing I could understand from what they were saying is that uh, the, uh, all their friends, it doesn't matter where you reside in the zoo, that the only option for you so that you will be informed, properly informed, because if you don't be informed, or if you don't listen to news, if you are not informed, you will be deformed, you know, uh, if you are not informed, you will always be deformed, and uh, the only uh, the only avenue for you to be informed is through joining the IPOB family, nearest, uh, I mean, nearest to you, and again, acquit yourself regularly, to the universities of uh, radio and television uh, uh, of Japan. So that is where you can be uh, 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 educated. And uh, another thing again is that um, I know I, we don't advise the, the elders to come up from the sun, you know, when the sun hits him. So uh, he will run away and look for shelter. So, you know, our, our people, I will say it this very way, our people don't uh, take it when it's soft. They don't like it when it's cold. They don't they accept it when it's warm. They like it hard. They like it to push. They, 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 they want it very hard, you know. When it hits hard on them, that is when you see them taking some advance, that kind of, some advancement, they are a kind of improvement, an improvement. But this time around, is just like a, they see that a main story after all, that they think that it's something right now, we have been hearing stories and people have been saying it and uh, things will continue like that. The let just tell you, I've never seen anything that our leader has just has said that, that has never come to pass. That very man is beyond Romans a kind of uh, 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 comprehension. He don't, it's only God that knows how he, he brought him into our midst. And a kind of uh, bring him to replace his people. But many of us, we don't value, we don't respect, we don't honor, we don't even want to listen. We prefer listening to, to you about Gotham Media. Most, many of them will be asking what was the, uh, the, the program on television, on the new television. They will be able to tell you all the programs where we ask them what was today's uh, 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 kind of uh, news from the uh, uh, Sunrise Daily or radio stations of that part. They won't be able to why because they are deformed. They don't even want to, they don't make themselves a kind of picture because they can be taught when you make yourself available. The uh, teachings we pass through your brain, you know. So people that live in uh, in uh, in Lagos and uh, in Abuja, they say 
I I don't know what things and I don't blame them. Why I say that I will not blame them is that uh, what you don't know is above and um, many of them get to that place as a result of uh, trying to better the better better their life and they cannot see it as a way that is more better than their than their area. But when the IPOB is trying to tell them that those very areas uh, All right, uh, uh, then, Mr. We'll come back to you shortly. Let me take this call. I have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Good morning, my brother. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Please tell us on the one uh, where you are calling from. Okay, my name is Christopher uh, Chinedobi. Um, I'm calling from DLC Congo. Okay, please go ahead and make your contribution. Okay, um, uh, from the from the issue of the other country, from Germany and across the, uh, Switzerland, only thing I can tell our brothers uh, living in Lagos and Abuja because I was uh, I was uh, when I was a security member of uh, most of those days when I was in my boy boy time in 2004, 2003 So the most of the problems we encounter is this. Most of our brothers, Igbos, when you are telling them anything concerning their flag, they will be uh, seeing you as, um, as a nuisance, as somebody who does not have uh, a future. Before I entered my soul, uh, there was, I think, the first thing I think we, we did, there was a little bad guy who called us because we disobey, we, we are not among the people, we are not following the, the, the order. So he came to our shop, he said that when your people. Eat, is doing something that you're supposed to be among them. When it's game for all of you will gain. When it's at the loss, all of you will lose. This loss is not only you alone. So I'm very, very sorry for most of our brothers and when they are watching this IPOB of a total bashup of a team is just like a joke. I want to tell them if any of them is listening now, it's not a joke. This is a vision and you cannot kill this vision. So whenever they think that we are messing up, they will only be suffering for what they don't know about. This is for all of us. If Mazin Nambekana is fighting for, for, for the restoration of Biafra, he's not fighting for his own family. He's doing it for all of us. He has been like Moses of our time. So I want every Igbo man, anywhere, even if you are in government, even if you are in a taxi, or in Alaba, or in Lagos Island, because I was in Lagos, I know Lagos very well. So any you are, please and please be and join what we are doing. Support because one day a story comes to pass. If the Afro Repression movement has come to this age, it means it's no more a joke. Otherwise, what I'm saying because I have seen some videos of your bus, threatening ebooks. And what I know, because from the from, from the information we get when we are, when I was in Masoab, one day these people fight us in Lagos and let us know it. That is our land. It's not our land. There is no amount of people that will meet them in that land. Because that place is not east. And that is the truth. One one left the rest and one. If there's any room in this meeting that has the originality of all in Lagos, let that person bring it out. My brother, nobody could provide the originality of all in Lagos. That means the only houses we have in Lagos is a risky. When they break, when they expand the way of the Lagos side in Lagos, most of the buildings of Tibos were touched and were not compensated in a penny. But you know that the house were touched, we are compensated. Because of what? These people are not building in South, South, South East because they know life on the and that one day that this relationship called Nigeria must reflect. So I want to enter into the ear, the human, every South, South and South East person that one day Nigeria must block. I have seen when you look at threat and say that Nigeria is a nothing, that this country must try come to end soon or soonest. And that is the truth. Anybody, any man, any caravan or where South and South is hearing my voice should know that this thing is not a joke. Biafra must surely come to pass. I have seen the secret of Biafra. I have seen the vision also. 
I've seen the life piece of Biafra, and it was surely come to pass. And what I have said to them together, when we come to fight, we'll fight together. We we'll come to separate, we we'll separate together. And God Thank bless you. you. I love your work. I love the Biafra TV station. God bless you. And bless you too. Stay blessed wherever you are. Of course, uh, we appreciate you for that wonderful contribution and uh, wonderful submission. Of course, keep the calls coming. And this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And my name is Mazi Victor Onido, and I have Mazi Oge Friday, who is here with me in the studio, and also Mazi Evis on the way, who is also standing by to do the work of uh, educating our people on what is going on. And uh, of course, uh, you can do good to share our program, call your friends, and where we share even the enemies for them to come and listen to the gospel of voice of truth because we are here to expose the lies of the zoo. We don't miss any word here. All right, uh, Mazi, uh, okay, Friday, I come back to you. Based on the uh, submission of the, the last caller, uh, you know, what, what would you make of it? Yes, um, before a caller from Ebony State talked about uh, the relay station, of course, uh, the people who are managing it, they are trying their best. It's one of the best in the whole of Biafra land. The relay station that we have currently covers the capital city, Abakaliki, some places in Ebony North and Ebony Central. But uh, another relay station is needed as to take care of Ebony South, Senatorial District, which will also cover part of uh, Cross River because the share boundary uh, at least to cover the whole states. So the caller made a very good point and uh, the last caller who just called now of course our people in Lagos they must trade with caution they must be very very careful of whatever business they are doing with the Yorubas they will look fully well that these people are their arc enemies they don't mean well for them so whichever thing you are doing it is not evil for you to go and acquire property anywhere in the world but the case here in Nigeria is quite different because they are not seeing you as one they are not seeing you as their brethren and that is why they unleash all kinds of mayhem to you all just to subdue you into becoming nothing but in the end because Chukwabiyama is with us that is why you see the business of people thrive irrespective of what they are being subjected into so what I'm trying to urge our people is to get the Lego documents of all your property in Lagos. You know, the mistake has been made and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Many of our people have invested billions and millions in Lagos and other places in Nigeria with the aim that we are one people, we are saying the same thing, not knowing that the opposite is the case. But like our leader said, I remember vividly, saying that all you need to do is just to join IPOB in the struggle to restore Biafra. When the time comes, we will go and claim all your business and all your property in Lagos. So those of you who are afraid of joining IPOB in the struggle to restore Biafra, maybe because of one or two things that you own in Lagos, because of your establishment over there, I want you to cast away the fear. IPOB is going to stand with you to claim back all your property, even those ones that they have demolished, even those ones that they have destroyed. We are going to make sure that they pay for it the leadership of IPOB is going to make sure that that is done. So do not have any fear or any reason of saying I will not join IPOB because of one or two things that I owe in Lagos. That is not true. It is not a good reason at all. We know that they are very wicked, but whatever thing you are doing, like I said, play a wise game. Have evidence of all your property. CFO is very good for that, so that tomorrow even international communities will still come up because there are so many Nigerians that own property outside the country. And that country or the citizens of that country or the government cannot say because you are not a born of this nation, you don't have rights to do so. When you meet up to the requirement, of course you are free to own a property. So our own is not going to be an exception or a different case. But our people went to Lagos and established there. Of course, we suffer to do all of these things, and the suffering of our people will not be in vain. So that is it. The property of our people over there in Lagos, at the due time, 
I believe the leadership of IPOB is going to work hard to make sure that all of those things are being recovered. But the first thing first, which is what? To stand with IPOB and the leader of IPOB to get their for restored. And all those things is not going to be an issue because it is going to be a national issue between the government of Biafra and the government of Nigeria, which I'm very much sure that it is going to be done. So our uh, people in Lagos and other places in Nigeria who own properties should not be afraid of those things. But let them join IPOB and get right. Biafra restored. Thank you very much, Mazi Oge Friday, for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, our people who are in various places are listening even all over the world, our people are listening to you. Not only in Lagos, you know, you people sent, uh, uh, centered only on Lagos and Abuja. How about other places of this? All right, uh, Marzi Evis, I'm coming close to you now. Um, when you people emphasize only much on Lagos and Abuja, does it mean that uh, our Igbo brothers or the Biafans are not all over the country? In other places, they are being persecuted. Why are you guys focusing most only on Lagos and Abuja? They have properties other places even in the north and other south uh, western state and what would you make of that when Mazogu Friday submitted that uh, the properties should be documented and all of that do you think keep your friends in store today those things will still be valuable to the Biafrans from your own perspective Mazi Elvis on the way yes my brother um, there is this very mentality that if the uh, if Biafras uh secede from the zoo that the zoo will confiscate our property i just want to tell us that many people own houses in abroad and the government did not confiscate it there is this law that on the kind of give you the right to own property in every country of your domain so, and besides, there is this very thing I want to uh, bring to our notice. Every house or uh, uh, landed property you acquired in the uh, zoo, especially Lagos and Abuja, they can never give you the original C of O. If you doubt, make inquiries of what I'm telling you, which means your property, uh, your landed properties in that very place has no meaning is just an official product that has a kind of that can be confiscated at any time that can be taken over from you at any time so in which probably you are not the owner of every house you just help them to develop their land hence as, as long as you don't have all it takes to own the property like a cfo certificate of property what you are building everything just in Shambo, you are just you are just wasting time. You are running around the uh, uh, kind of trying to negotiate running at the roundabout. So those house of properties, even now as we speak, if the government the government wants to take it from you, they will take it from you. So it's better for you now, hoping that you will lose it. My brother, someday you will lose it because you don't own the house. They just use you to build a house in that very location where you build the house because you don't have the, 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 the credentials. You don't have the the the, the, the of or whatever, whatever else. You cannot claim it. It's not even as of now. You are just a, a, what they call it a caretaker that is taking care of the, uh, the, 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 the uh, I mean that, that is taking care of the land and the opportunity to build out another place to go. I mean to uh, 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 to to reside. You know. So if they have this mentality that will be a profound that they will leave their property, they lost it already. The house has been lost already. The property has been lost already because it's not. If you are the bona fide owner and the members or the the the, 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 the kind of the, the house belongs to you, the shop belongs to you, I don't see the reason. An ordinary house will come to a place where you build your shop, you build your house and you use class to take it away. And the government will support them. If the government if the government sends such a people, you sue them to court if the court is working, then you have the right to fund your damages. Like they really close this area without information, without appropriate uh, 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 notice. Without a, a kind of uh, 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 what they call it, uh, 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 um, um, some information, they just take it and close the place. Do you know that if, if, if the system is working and the, the, our brothers have built shop, shop and uh, 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 what they call it, shopping malls in every place, they have the right to sue the government and claim their damages. But they cannot do that why? Because they don't have the documents, they don't have the properties, they don't have that right. Because the building, though the building structure, 
But the Lord belongs to them. The poor have locked up the place. So they don't have right to go and claim it. So as I'm speaking to them right now, it's better because they have locked in the property. They don't own it. So it's better for them now to join the IPOB, whether wherever you reside, those of them are taking their business to Abuja and taking it to to Lagos. I don't blame them most of them, like I said before. It is the system because they close our seaports, they close our airports, they close everything and make sure that these two areas, north and the south, are being developed because they know that we are vessel builders wherever we step in, we develop. So I do think that our seaport and international airport are working. What are we looking for? Why, why am I going to Lagos? Why can I go to Lagos? Because I have what it takes for Lagos to come down to my own to, 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 to land and, uh, I mean, uh, and, uh, and I will share those things to them. But for the fact that we talk that we uh, 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 you know, that those things, if we start an establishment in our land, that the, we have no value. You understand, when you build a house in the, in the Japan land, it has no value. That it has no value when you build it in Lagos. You have no value when you build it. That is stupidity mentality. And it doesn't work this time. So it's better for them to start marketing themselves and they kind of uh, selling their the properties back to the land and start to develop it because very soon all this is will become stories. I'm telling you, and it's better to save uh, six in time. That's right, it's just time. So thank you. All right, thank you very much, our brother Mazi. Every for that wonderful submission. Uh, but come to think of it, do you think uh, now that the deal has been done, how is it possible for them to, you know, begin to adjust? Because they have already spent a whole lot of money and their fortunes to build uh, uh, all those places, Lagos, Abuja, and the rest of other places. Now. How, because uh, that is one of the reasons why all these things are happening. Okay, my brother, I want to ask you, how is it possible in the first place for you to migrate to that place? The way it becomes possible for you to migrate that very area and establish, that is how it is possible for a European man to chase you from where you developed before and give you another swamp, another canal to close, and it becomes possible in your eyes to develop that place and so join that area. That is how it will be possible for you if you really, really want to a kind of migrate, a kind of respond back to your, to, your, I mean, to your fatherland. It will be so possible because the same God that gives you that power to make that certain world will always make a way for you. But, but what is waiting for is for you to change your mentality, to make a move. You understand me? So, because these people, they have been using your talent, they have been using your destiny, they have been using your effort, your sweat. You develop that land. If, if, are you a Buddhist? If you are even into a Buddhist, aren't you the tired of dwelling in another man's land? Even most of your children don't even know your father house. When you ask them, how she get out of water? You understand? Many of them are told to town. People, some, some of them that we are, my mama tell you, say are people. This is the work we are doing ourselves because we have rejected the society and at the same time we reject ourselves. And if we use the rejection to a kind of buy law, a kind of buy unity, we are using our effort to buy unity where we are rejected. Why don't you return back to your, I mean, to your own land? What happens to your own land? What happens to your own vicinity? Use that same effort, that same energy, and a kind of build your own land, support the Biafra, and support your culture. You will live uh, our life like people that don't have cultures. We live our life as people that don't have traditions anymore. I could remember before when a lady could get the marriage given in Lagos, they must travel home. They must go and find out where this very lady comes from. Who is his father? What, what are the, the criteria? They look into so many criteria. At the end of it, when they concluded, when they concluded, they will now start, they, they all of them will go back to the land and get married. But this day, they tell you that I'm a way to, they get married and they go get people upside down. Like people that don't have traditions. You will have to do that. How should I come do that? It is only the dear plant. That is why the radio dear plant and the and the is working tirelessly to make sure that our people are being educated. That is why many people, many of them have been calling, uh, let, us, sorry, um, let us go and mark them down. But first of all, let you, this orientation sink down into your memory. Let it sink down into your medulla of the data. Let it sink down into your system so that when you start, you know what we are defending. Because most of us now, we don't know exactly what we are defending. We don't know what Martin Lankan is saying. 
single Igbo man you was born your mother or your father must tell you this word and you will use it to grow and Yoruba man or a Yoruba woman when they was born they, they cannot tell me that their parents didn't tell them that you are a Yoruba man maybe in Nigeria even our summer this is a same thing but now those years have gone. Now, we finally try to, God sent us a, a savior. We have been struggling many years, crying many years, how we should restore our land, how we will go back to our tradition, how we will go back to our, our land, which we came from. And finally, God sent Martin and the Carol to us. We need to even think, how this man can nobody does try to help yourself. Now, this way who are they calling? There is no anything that can work if they still belong to Nigeria. There is no anything, no help. The only way what will help them is if they are come back to embrace their ancestors, if they are come back to embrace their land, if they come back to go back to their land, which is their friend. But when this friend will start, or to join IPO to wherever they are, this is the only way, the only calopy, the only savior to all our Biafra, all our Igbos who are in 
Lagos and every part of Nigeria. This is the only thing that can save them. Let them join IPOB family. Let them join for we to put hand and restore Biafra. Biafra is the only way. Biafra is the only solution. Nobody can help them. No, even who is governor, who is the president. No anything that Nigeria will help them. Biafra is the savior. It's now they need to listen to the voice of our leader. They need to hear his voice because they don't know what God gives to us. They don't really know. But they must know because this is the only way they will come back. Thank you so much, my brother. All right, thank, thank you, you very much work. for that wonderful contribution. Of course, uh, yeah. Yeah. we have just let's say we are going to pick like two calls before we we'll call it a day because our time has probably been spent. All right, keep the calls coming in. We just need two more calls for us to call it a shot for today. All right, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Masi Victor Oindo, and I have Masi Oge Friday with me here in the studio. All right, uh, Mazi, every Sunday, are you still there? Yes. Okay, okay, please, what is going to be your final words of advice to dear friends and friends or well wishes of dear friends listening to you all over the world before we call it a shot for today? My final word of advice, I will speak it in the, one of the languages in Biafra. So if you don't uh, understand it, you can go to your neighbor to, for translation. The only thing I have to say right now, Opano Oko Kulu Bunti Chidia, Ujijina Da Nife Nesu Uzu Anana Nini, Oko Fuka Na Apo Koko, Maloko Kweto Koga Adam Pachinki, I, this is what I want to say. I'm sorry if you don't understand the language. Ask your brothers, and uh, you can translate it. And watching uh, the only way is the IPOB. Just look for IPOB very close to you and join. Because if you don't join it alive, my brother, you will join it with our palms. You know our palms. Our palms are very ready to help you to join, to join you together. But that is not our prayer. Our prayer is that all of us will live and see Biafra at the end. So please, let us stop Koka Mamife and follow Nandekano. At the end, he knows the way so that this Red Sea will pass it in peace and get to a, a land of milk and honey and dance and glorify God because not that we have tradition. But these days, I don't know, Hebrews have no tradition anymore. We have a, a kind of, we have our, our culture but nowadays, Ibus, I mean Biafras, who is your culture? Oga, he said that Bob Mali said, let us return back to our root. Return back to your root. This is Exodus. Return back to your root. Don't live your life like a man that don't have hope, that don't have a kind of tradition, or don't have a place you come from. We all have a place where we come from because I can remember right from time. When a child is being born, the umbilical cord can never be buried in a man's land. They took the umbilical cord down, it doesn't matter how many months you take them. When they return back to their home, they will bury it in their own house and tell you this is where your umbilical cord is. But these days, no wonder things are going zigzag. They bury the umbilical cord. Even in the Bible, Abraham said that his son Isaac will not marry from these rejected people. From the that when his brother, I mean, when his son is due to be able to take him to his father's house, how many of us are respecting our cultures and religions? Mazenan de Kano is the only savior. If you don't follow him alive, you follow him through our pants. But Mitchell Kabiama have our search and lead us to be for in peace. Even alive, but at the end, we dance and glorify his name. Thank you very much and I'll come your way tomorrow. My name is Remains Elvis. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, our uh, brother Mazi Evis, for that wonderful submission. Of course, we are hoping you join us tomorrow as we also bring another wonderful edition. Of course, uh, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis and uh, Mazi Ogo Friday. Um, I think uh, you would have one or two words of uh, advice to give their fans before we call it a, a shot yes. for the day. Of course. Okay, please uh, do it briefly. Country called Nigeria, all of us know, is a contraption. What uh, Lamido Sanosi was saying is just to deceive few many or many of our people and on the other hand what uh, Gino Melai did irrespective of what he have in mind is a big slap 
on the face of so many people who are our ambassadors, who are representing our people here. Though we have discovered they are representing themselves. And what happened in River State is a clear indication that the Nigerian security operatives are not trained to protect the masses, rather to shoot aside. We have seen it in several occasions. They just concluded general election in River State. It was bloody. The security agents, the police, the army, they killed a lot of people. The evidence are there. Our people come out to protest in the street. The injustice method on them by the Nigerian government, they come out to shoot. But now, they're saying that the Vilanchi group are rescuing police. It's, it doesn't make sense in every right-thinking person. So, the security of our people, we know the people who can do it better. It is our people who can do it better. IPOB is out there to fight for our people, to fight for the right of every common man in Biafra land. And very soon, Africa will discover that the work IPOB is doing does not just lie in benefiting Biafrans, but the entire Africa continent, the black race as a whole. Because in Biafra, Africa died. And I believe so much that when Biafra is restored, Africa will be restored. The dignity of Africa will be restored. Then humanity will begin to see that, of course, Africa has a lot of things to offer to the world. So what you need to do as a Biafran, wherever you are, irrespective of what has happened, is to trace back, find a family of IPOB and join wherever you are. If there is no where you are, start up one and the needful will be done. Mazen Amdekano is out to fight for your rights. So whatever mistake you have made, press it on a pause and don't go further. Because as we speak now, there are so many people who will still go out there in Lagos and other places in Kano, Abuja, maybe buying land. It is going to be the worst mistake you will make now. Stop it. Come back home and join IPOB. All right. Even Master wherever you are. Thank, Thank you very much. much, and I appreciate you for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, friends and lovers of freedom, listening and watching us all over the world, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi Victor Onyinda, and uh, I have Mazoge Friday, who has done a very wonderful work of educating our people. Of course, uh, keep watching B Biafran Television and keep listening to Radio Biafra London as other interesting programs are going to be coming your way. Meet us same time, same station by tomorrow, as we bring you other wonderful uh, editions. From me, from here... We are signing out. Stay blessed.